paid off my $80,000 in student loans all by myself, no one else's credit card. These comments just make me laugh. I had about $40,000 in debt for my undergrad program and then another 40 from my graduate program. And while I went to grad school, I worked full time as a system design engineer, making about 73K a year. And 73K a year in Boston doesn't go too far, but it does if you really live to a strict budget. So those two years that I was in grad school, I was on a pretty strict budget enough that I could save $800 a month. When I graduated grad school, I had about $20,000 in savings. I almost immediately started my job as a TPM for a robotics team and more than doubled my salary. And most importantly, I really didn't change my spending habits. Even though I was now making more money, I still tried to stick to that same budget. Besides moving into this apartment here, our rent went up. But besides that, I tried to stick to that same budget so I could get these loans paid off. With my new salary, but same spending habits, I was able to save about 3,500 to four grand a month now. And if I ever got any bonuses, those went immediately to my student loans. I was fortunate to have graduated in 2022, so I didn't have to start loan repayment until 2023. So a year later, when the COVID interest ban lifted, that's when I started repaying. In that year post-grad, I'd saved about another $50,000. So I had $70,000 in my savings. I then paid $10,000 a month for eight months to get that 80K paid off. It didn't feel great spending 10K a month, but it meant I was gonna be done in eight months and like that was my goal. So by May of 2024, I had paid off all 80K and now I am so fortunate to be debt free and I am so thankful for high school me for choosing to be a mechanical engineer. And no daddy's credit card needed, bye.